there are different kinds of storage elements present in the computer system and uh, this pyramid shows the memory hierarchy at the very top of the pyramid are the processor registers then we have the level 1 cache which could be in all probability on the processor chip itself then we have the level 2 cache which could either be on the processor chip or somewhere between the processor and the memory then we have the random access memory which is the main memory or the physical memory and then at the lowest uh, bottom at the bottom of the pyramid we have the secondary memory which could be the magnetic tapes or the magnetic disks or other optical disks as you can see as we go up the pyramid the time taken to access these storage element decreases that means the speed is increasing so like uh, if the if an access to a processor register is required it could be of the order of uh, say 1 to 2 nanoseconds only l1 cache would if it is on the processor chip would almost be approximately the same time or slightly more level 2 cache would be up, uh, to the tune of 5 to 10 nanoseconds uh, access to ram would be about uh, 50 to 100 nanoseconds secondary memory access would require time at to the tune of milliseconds also as we go up the pyramid the cost per bit increases registers the l1 cache and l2 cache are usually uh, it, you uh, implemented using the SRAM technology uh, whereas the RAM is used uh, implemented using the DRAM technology and the secondary memory could be the magnetic disks. So the cost per bit increases because it has uh, more number of uh, transistors the SRAM has more number of transistors and it uh, because it they require more space so that their density is also less whereas uh, for DRAM there is only a transistor and a capacitor per cell and their density is also more per unit chip the size of the storage elements increases as we go down this memory hierarchy so while the registers the general processor registers would be fewer in number the and uh, they would be limited the l1 cache and l2 cache could be of the order of few of uh, kilobytes the uh, or l2 cache could be of the order of megabytes the ram would be uh, the size would be in gigabytes whereas secondary memories could be in terabytes so as we go down the pyramid uh, the size would increase so this is by just by means of a, a pyramid you can depict the, the various storage elements that are available and how their speed cost and size varies